This is a Bourdon tube type pressure gauge. It is a mechanical pressure measuring instrument that operates without electricity. In this video, we'll take a close look at the mechanism inside to see how it works. Before we jump into the inner workings of a pressure gauge, let's first see what are the key external components involved. Let's get started. This is the socket. It features a small hole at the base, allowing the fluid whose pressure we want to measure to enter the pressure sensing element inside the gauge. The socket's external threads serve the purpose of mounting the gauge onto the process connection port. This enables precise pressure measurements at specific points within the system. A pressure gauge is a device that measures the pressure of a fluid in a system. The fluid can be a gas or a liquid. Fluid pressure refers to the measurement of the force per unit area exerted by the fluid on a given object. This is the pointer and the dial. The pointer is connected to the internal mechanism and moves across a calibrated scale on the dial in response to the variation of pressure. Users can read the pressure value directly from the dial, where the pointer indicates the pressure currently prevailing. On the dial, we also find other information like the unit in which the pressure is measured. A pressure gauge can be dry or filled with liquid on the inside. Wet gauges have a fill plug that is also used for venting the gauge. Temperature variations during shipment and operation can cause the liquid fill to expand and contract, changing the pressure inside the sealed case, which can reduce the accuracy of the reading. Venting is sometimes required to release excess pressure. We will look at the reasons we use dry versus liquid filled gauges in more detail later in this video. Some pressure gauges have a blowout plug on the back. They act as a pressure relief mechanism designed to release the overpressure away from the operator in the event of a catastrophic failure of the pressure sensing element inside the gauge. Now let's look at the mechanism inside the pressure gauge. This is the pressure sensing element called a Boudin tube. It's a C-shaped thin-walled metallic tube with an oval cross section. Its working principle is based on the elastic deformation of a curved, flattened tube when subjected to pressure. The tube deformation is proportional to the applied pressure. The fixed end of the Boudin tube is mounted to the socket base, and the moving sealed end is connected to a mechanism that translates the small deformation of the tube into a rotary movement for the pointer. As the Boudin tube straightens, it transmits its linear motion through the connecting link. That drives the sector gear. That meshes with the pinion driving the pointer. When the pressure decreases, the Bouton tube returns to its original shape and the pointer goes back to its zero position on the dial with the help of the spiral torsion spring. There are various types of pressure gauges which use different principles for sensing pressure. The C-shaped Bouton tube type is the most common one. Before we take a look at dry versus oil-filled gauges, we want to take a moment to talk about a fantastic resource that can help you explore the world of science, math, and technology in an interactive way. Today's video is made possible by Brilliant, an incredible platform for interactive learning. Just as we're about to uncover the fascinating mechanics behind pressure gauges, Brilliant unravels the secrets of math, data science, and technology. Imagine you're as curious about the world as we are, and you want to learn how strong passwords are created, or understand the magic behind recommendation algorithms. Brilliant has you covered. They offer a wide range of courses, from the basics to the most advanced topics with fresh content added monthly. Not only does Brilliant offer a wealth of knowledge, but it's also designed to fit your pace and preferences, ensuring an enjoyable learning experience. Level up your skills and be the go-to expert at work with just 15 minutes a day. So if you're excited about diving into the world of science, math, and technology, here's a special offer for you. Start your 30-day free trial on Brilliant by visiting brilliant.org forward slash deconstructed. The first 200 people to visit the link will get an exclusive 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now back to our journey into the mechanics of pressure gauges. Dry pressure gauges are best suited for dry environments, but are sensitive to high physical stress. One of the main advantages of wet gauges is that the liquid dampens vibrations and pressure spikes, preventing them from being transferred to the internal mechanism. Additionally, it stabilizes the pointer, enhancing the readability of the pressure on the dial. Liquid-filled gauges are typically filled with glycerine or silicon oil, 
which lubricates the internal components, reduces wear, and increases the lifespan of the gauge. They are not filled to the brim to prevent leaks when the liquid expands. Lastly, wet gauges prevent condensation from forming inside the gauge. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.